Camelot 331 here, and I tried to tell you. I try to tell you guys so many damn times, and nobody listens to me, and I don't know why. Maybe it's because I'm a redneck, and I sound dumb as hell, and I also am dumb as hell. But that don't mean you should sometimes listen what comes out of my mouth. So I said something recently. I said something recently giving you guidance on what you should not do. Actually, let's just talk to my old ass self from six months ago and let him tell you what I said. So I say again, it is a very very important. Go to GameStop right now. Cancel your reserves. You have to. GameStop will indeed keep that money and you will never see it again. It'll be gone. Shocking. So I said this about six months ago. If you don't cancel your reserves, GameStop will indeed keep it. Well, GameStop's been closing hundreds and hundreds of stores as of late. Some of the stores that had to close due to the virus yeah, they just never reopened. <laughs> they never reopened. What happened to that money? What exactly happened to it? You could probably guess what happened to it. I contacted my corporate contact and asked him what they intend to do with this money. And also something else that is insane. I have a bunch of messages to go through. It's going to blow you away. This is crazy. They are actually stealing people's money. They ain't gonna give it back. <laughs> so before we get into it, make sure you give this video a thumbs up doodle and make sure you subscribe if you have not. So first thing I want to get into is this right here. This was a Reddit post on GameStop Reddit that was deleted promptly <laughs> because they're not allowed to say anything negative. But look at this right here. Performance. So for us, performance management is back and back with full force. We are having daily emails on how we are doing. They are looking currently at pro reservations, GPGs, which are one-year warranties, and PRPs, which are one-year warranties for consoles. We are expected to hit all four metrics or face consequences. Our feedback is now being monitored, and they said we have to take action on those who fail to hit said metrics, which means they have to be fired if they don't rob people of their money. It's being severely micromanaged and causing further troubles. So what is everyone else dealing with in your area? So this post was promptly deleted on GameStop Reddit so no one uh, could see what's happening out there in the GameStop world. But luckily, people sent me some messages explaining exactly what's going on. And these messages also detail how they're stealing reserve money from all these people after closing stores. It's gone. It's literally gone. <laughs> but my corporate contact, he tells me exactly what happened with it. First message. Hey, Cammy, huge fan of your channel. Everyone at my store is. So I just wanted to throw this out there. My GameStop has started going extremely hard on the numbers game again. Reservations, pro cards, GPGs, and PRPs. We are being told to add GPGs and explain to the customer that we are adding a one-year warranty for their protection and can only take it off if the customer throws a fit. Shocking. So they're just adding it as a company directive <laughs> to transactions. They're desperate as hell right now. I had eight customers scream at me yesterday. Our store just opened back up after the lockdown. Our district leader said that anyone that is not hitting these numbers in every single category must be terminated or coached with a first and final, meaning they won't get fired. Several associates are quitting, and I probably am too. We're not getting any hours allocated anyway, and we have all of our tasks back. I just don't feel good about working here anymore. I have it in a long time. So what does this mean? It means if you go into GameStop, and I don't know why the hell you'd be going in there, but if you went in there, they're going to hassle you for every little damn thing. Reservations. The Pro Card, which doesn't even save you 10% anymore at all. It doesn't even do anything. O'Reilly's has the exact same card. And they give it to you for free. And at GameStop, it's $20. <laughs> Shocking. Wow, they think they're they're hot shit. We could just charge people for this. Next message. Check this out. Been a minute. Figured I would reach out and let you know that we have been hit with a full-on return of our performance metrics. Every single metric must be hit. We have to harass customers for every last thing. One-year warranties and reserves and cards. We're being told verbatim, if we don't want our store to close, then we need to exceed everything by a huge amount. 
I've actually heard this probably over a dozen times from different people that message me. Their district managers are telling them if you don't want your stores to close and you you lose your job, then you better work your ass off and do well. And then they still close them down anyway because it's not based on that. <laughs> it's based on other things. They're just lying to get these associates to fear for their life because GameStop rules by fear. Always has, always will for the next couple months until they die. Finally, my district manager said that he didn't care if we had to lie our asses off as long as we rank well. <laughs> Jesus. I assume his job is in jeopardy. He fired an assistant manager on the spot on a conference call for speaking up and saying our goals were unrealistic. Told her to leave the building and leave her keys on the counter. Shocking. In front of everyone. He calls my store daily asking where we are at and even says the employees should renew their own cards and pre-order stuff to stay afloat <laughs> telling their own associates to reserve stuff <laughs> jesus it's getting out of hand no one is happy everyone is upset everything feels so much different there is something in the air something going on i have never seen my district manager like this no idea what the future holds i will keep in touch thank you and keep in mind everyone is having to deal with this at these stores right now and if you're going in you're probably being harassed right now you probably can attest to what I'm saying and what these people are saying right here. And also, it's hilarious that that thread on Reddit was deleted. It was deleted by the mods because it was just too negative. No, we can't talk about this. We can't talk about how we harass people every single day like car salesmen. And they don't even get, they don't even get commission. Check out this message right here. This is about the reservations, guys. You remember. You remember what I said six months ago. I told you to, to cancel your damn reservation. And what did you guys say? Well, most of you said, yeah, I'm going to do that. But then some of you were like, nah, dude, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to risk it. Well, you risked it for the biscuit, and now you got no biscuit. Next message. Well, it didn't last long. My district leader told us that we have to make sure every single employee understands that numbers are the top priority right now. Every employee has to be over the top performing or they get terminated without question. Not only that, every single store in my area closed recently except for mine. Every customer that had reserves in those stores lost their money and reserves. No one moved them to another store. They are gone. GameStop pocketed the money. Shocking. Who said that was going to happen? It wasn't me. It was probably Fanta. I don't know. I keep reaching out to corporate on what to do, and they tell me just tell the customer to call the hotline. And when they do, no one ever picks up the phone. <laughs> it just says, due to a larger call volume than expected, wait times are longer. But someone in the store was on hold for four hours the other day. Shocking. These people are not going to get their money back. This is beyond shady. I don't even know what to say anymore. Thank you for everything you do, your videos, and not just the games that ones have kept me going. Well, thank you, sir. Thank you for reaching out to me. It is insane. It is insane. But I know what you're thinking. You're like, that's just one guy, man. That's just one guy with the problem with the closed stores thing. Yeah? Well, <laughs> check this out. Frustrated. It's been over a month since my old home store closed, and all the pre-orders still haven't moved. People coming to my store, a closer store, looking for them. Not to mention, they were transferred to a further store from the old one than my new store. Plus, mine were part of those not transferred yet, including a Ghost Collector's Edition. People say they're working on it, but nothing happens. Pretty much tell every customer to call customer service and complain because I'm not sure how to fix it. Look at this right here. Ah, yes. Massive F-ups happen with the last round of store closures. There's no accountability. This guy says, how are they fixing it? People are pissed. I get what's, uh, there's a lot going on, but it seems like an easy fix, you know? Well, it's not because these reserves aren't stored in the cloud or anything. They're in those specific stores with the money. In those stores, it's counted as a as a transaction. That money is now in GameStop's pocket. You got to pull teeth to get it back. But what do you got to do to get it back? You're about to find out when my corporate contact answers me. So what does my corporate contact have to say about the reservations? What is GameStop's intentions? What do they plan to do? Do they plan on giving the customers their money back? And I mean millions and millions of dollars worth. Not a couple thousand. Millions of dollars worth of customers' money they willingly gave and got no product for. What is GameStop's intentions? Let's see what my corporate contact has to say about it. I asked him, Hey, several associates are saying stores closed near them and reserves were never moved. What happened there? What is GameStop's intentions? They reply, Hello, 
Yeah, that was a big discussion here. Seems as though GameStop thinks since it's such a hassle to get their money back because they make it that way intentionally, an estimated 94% of customers won't even care or want to go through the process of getting it back. Wow. So they can keep it all as an asset. So GameStop will be keeping it all unless a customer calls in and gives enough of a fuss. Shocking. Shocking. Remember what I said six, seven months ago, whatever it was, I said, remove your money or you will lose it forever. And this is exactly what is happening right now. Exactly what's happening. GameStop is ramping up all of the things they used to do, robbing every single person of reserves, the stupid pro card that doesn't do anything, GPGs, PRPs, just adding it on without asking people. They're ramping that all up or firing people. And they're just going to keep all the, the reserves from all the stores closed money. They're going to keep all that money. And I told you it was going to happen. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. It's crazy to me. And it's going to happen more and more. So I say again, remove your money, man. You have to remove your money because it's not, it's, you're not going to get it back. Do not. And I repeat, oh my gosh, I can't say this loud enough. Do not pre-order your PS5s and your Xbox Series 1Xs at these stores because you will lose that money forever. And you'll be working with lawyers trying to get it back forever. So just don't do it. Find another retailer. So what do you think? This is insane to me. They've been caught red-handed keeping and stealing money from people that voluntarily gave it to them in these stores. And they're going to be keeping it. And they don't give a damn unless you call in and freak the hell out for weeks and weeks and weeks. If you can even get through, they don't give a damn. And they know. They know this. They don't care. So I just think this is insane. And I can't believe it actually happened. And I can't believe they're about to force everything back on these people and start firing associates just like they used to right after reopening after a pandemic. These people have no money. They're scared for their lives. They're scared for their jobs. They're out here working with people every day. Half of them don't wear damn masks. And yeah, you're going to fire them for not getting these numbers. Holy hell, man. Unreal. What do you guys think? Make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I stream Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday, 8.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Make sure you catch it. If you want your voice heard, just message me. And make sure you do me a big-ass favor. Make sure you get on it. Doggone it. Bye. Yeah.